You know, in the future, I think me and Russ gonna cook some shit up because from how I'm seeing it on social media, every time I look, he fucking, he nailing the fucking arena, a festival, and they singing that shit. And I don't know none of the songs. I don't know. I probably know a few Russ songs. The songs they singing, I don't know, but they singing that shit. Like motherfucking, the same way they singing the biggest artists in the game. So, you know. Meek Mill and Russ on the way soon, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we on. Let's get it. That's how we doing it. Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's brand man, Sean, and we got to talk about why hip-hop is sleeping on Russ and why independent artists should be following this man because this man is winning. He was on Forbes 30 under 30 this year. He's been on Forbes type list before and he's gradually building his fan base. He has more legit fans that come out and pay for stuff than so many of the artists that perceivably are bigger than he is because of their media buzz and coverage. But let's get back to the real life because Russ is pushing this narrative of real life being greater than the internet. And the message he's trying to get out because he's basically being his own PR and pushing this narrative to say, hey, look, I know a lot of people talk to talk to they talk, they have these artists that have a perception about them and they seem so huge, but they can't do what I'm doing. That's why he puts these posts and this message of real life being greater than the internet on posts where he's showing what real life looks like for him. He has a lot of people out at his shows. And speaking of shows like Meek Mill alluded to at the clip in the beginning of this video, let's go ahead and just check out Russ's shows. Now those clips right there, I can guarantee you that a lot of artists cannot do that. We know a lot of artists can't do that, but I'm talking about the artists that you think are very popular. A lot of these artists, they can't even do solo shows and bring out 500 people, but they seem like they're extremely popping. This guy can do solo shows while other artists are doing a lot of festivals because they really can't bring out that many people and get an actual return from the show itself. Instead, they have to get paid by a promoter to be on the show and then just go out there and perform and the crowd, whether they're there for them or not, they get good footage, make it seems like they're performing in front of a lot of people. And of course they already got their money because that got checked before they even arrived. It's not even based on the audience itself. As a matter of fact, Russ even did his first show in Rio, Brazil recently. There's a reason that you don't see a lot of artists doing shows in Brazil. It's a lot easier to do a show in Europe, which Russ has done. He did a European tour before he even did a US tour. But Brazil, that's just another indicator in showing you of what he has being different. Russ has something that a lot of these artists do not have. If I was an upcoming artist in hip hop especially and only could follow one other artist in terms of studying their game and how they rose, it would be Russ. Not Chance the Rapper, I know he has a great indie story and all that stuff, but it would be Russ. Chance has a great indie story and everything, but Chance plays the game a lot more than Russ does when it comes to the industry and building relationships and all the politicking that just takes place. I'm not saying that he's playing the game dirty or anything like that, but he just builds relationships with people a lot more. And because he leverages those relationships, what he does is not as repeatable as what Russ does. You don't see Russ with a Jay-Z and Beyonce. You don't see Russ on as huge of a media run when it comes to these popular talk TV shows and things of that nature. It just doesn't happen. He doesn't have a brand deal with Apple, Kit Kat sponsorships. All those things are great and amazing. No fault to Chance for it, but I'm just saying from an indie standpoint, Russ's route is far more repeatable because it's far less dependent on these relationships, which is a different game. If you don't have the skill set or the right team and mindset for it and even like tolerance for it, it just won't happen for you. Unless, of course, you're assigned to a label. I genuinely don't think people appreciate how rare Chance the Rapper is. So once again, I'm glad Russ is winning like he's winning because he's showing people that you don't have to do what all these other artists are doing to come up in the game. And a true independent DI route is very possible. But with that being said, why is hip hop sleeping on this guy? Why is hip hop robbing the fans of this amazing narrative of an artist who took the route that Russ did to get to where he is? 
they should be sharing that story more and more and more. Now, I told myself I wasn't going to get too deep into the why and all these nuances, and I don't want any kind of conspiracy theory type thing related to it. It's more so just a surface level of at least understanding if you do not play the game to a certain extent, if you're not out here in certain crowds and building certain types of relationships and even paying certain money or being signed to certain places, there is very little incentive for people in the media or some of these other platforms to actually cover you in the first place. Because it's not like Russ is a controversial artist. His controversy is more drawn to him having this combative nature with the media versus being like a 6 9 that's drawing fan base attention. Russ's type of controversy just isn't beneficial in the same way it is as covering trolling or other attention grabbing type news. If you can at least understand that at a surface level, then the rest pretty much just makes sense. But if Russ keeps moving as he moves, at some point he's going to get a lot more coverage because it's going to be hard to ignore. When they say be so good, they can't ignore you. Hey, what he's building is something that's going to be hard to ignore. And I know it's going to be a whole bunch of people that still say, hey, but Russ is still a cornball and all that stuff, whatever, whatever. But if you aren't able to still be able to study someone who's winning and look past your perception of them being a cornball or whatever subjective feeling you have about them, then you're going to probably take quite a few L's and not be able to even figure out how to create a W for yourself. Because the real question at the end of the day is what do you want? I pose this question again and again. Do you want to be an artist performing with a lot of fans and make money as a musician? Or do you want to be famous? Or do you want to be both? And I know if you have a lot of fans by nature, you're gonna have some fame, but I'm talking about that more celebrity level and being a mover and shaker going through that media machine because that's a completely different path in some cases. And a lot of people have not come to grips with the fact that they want to be famous, not necessarily an artist, or even though they wanna be an artist, they have a strong thirst for fame in general, which is leading them to a path that's anti-progress in terms of becoming a more successful artist. So to close the video out, a perfect example of this was a comedian one time. I heard him talking about the fact that he had a homegirl and this woman was nameless basically, but she was making more money than so many of the very popular comedians. She made $5 million in one year, but she was doing comedy for corporations. She would go to like Coca-Cola and all these big corporations. If you guys don't know, they have like events for their employees and they'll have like retreats and just all types of things for the employees. And she would be one of the people that was entertainment that came in and these companies will hire her to go perform for their employees and other types of things that she did. But it was primarily doing stuff more like that versus being a comedian on a late night show or having a big page on YouTube or any of that stuff. She's living her dream as a comedian and she's making more money than these other comedians are making. Yeah, you don't know her name. I don't know her name because he, he didn't mention who she was, but I've heard multiple stories like that. There's a lot of comedians that are just on the college tour run and they make more money than some of these other comedians who have big Instagram pages or, you know, uh, shows. So keep that stuff in mind. Always put it in perspective. But other than that, of course, I always want to know what you guys think about the topic at hand. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.